Hey, Jay, how are you? So, guys, welcome to another Tatami Talk short form video. My name is Juan. This is my trip partner, Anthony. And today we're going to talk about Kazushi. Yeah, I mean, you're. Kazushi, every, every time you mention judo, any uh, beginners, they always talk about Kazushi, right? No, beginners don't talk about Kazushi. Oh, we talk about Kazushi to explain to the two beginners. Yep, and the most common way of um, explaining Kazushi is off balancing, which isn't wrong. Um, what I'm about to say, by, by the way, is my own interpretation of Kazushi and how it's helped me understand it, because I know the, the way that it's been commonly taught by people kind of just like confuse me. And, mm -hmm. um, that's how I understand it. Um, Many, many times when I first started, when my throws don't work, mm -hmm. I'd hear someone out in the corner yell, you need more Kazushi. <laughs> Just like, what does that mean? Like, but, what, well, does, what does you mean? What does it mean you need more Kazushi? I shout, break the Kazushi. <laughs> or break, yeah. So most people, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, assume right now, most people, when we, when we do, uh, when we teach the throws, mm -hmm. we always talk about Kazushi, Sukuda, Kake. So Kazushi, would be pulling them off balance. That's how they would teach it, right? Mm -hmm. So me and also most beginners would think, oh, more Kazushi means I need to pull harder, right? Mm -hmm. But if we're actually fighting and you're resisting, there's no way I, I can actually pull you and you're not even really resisting, you're kind of just stiff arming me. No, right? no I'm totally, I'm totally yeah. resisting. <laughs> you, yeah, so there's-, there's My really, hips are grounded right now. Yeah, so what I like to think of Kazushi as more of um structural instability, mm -hmm. like breaking someone's structure. And um, the more Kazushi you have is basically the more broken down your opponent is mm -hmm. and they're unable to recover from the throw. Mm -hmm. So even if you're broken here, but my technique is bad and you can slide off, I have broken your, your structure, but because my technique was bad and also the structure wasn't broken enough that you were able to recover from it, so how do we do that? Well, before we talk about that, some basic physics. Um, mm. I failed phys I failed class. Phys I, fa I failed physics class. So <laughs> there's actually a lot of science out there about how not to fall mm -hmm. because there's a lot of old people there and they sell a lot of products for old people <laughs> to not to fall. So you can actually Google this yourself. Um, but our center of gravity is actually for men, it's actually slightly above your belly button. Mm. For women, because they have wider hips and stuff, and the way that the weight is distributed is actually slightly below the belly button, usually. Okay, and if you look at the side, your center of gravity is in between your the front of your body and your backbone. Mm. So it's kind of like in the middle. So it's, your center of gravity is over there. So how do you make someone fall? <laughs> Push them. So imagine I'm standing here. This is my base. This is my base support. Mm -hmm. To cut, to keep it short, when your center of gravity goes outside of the base of support, that's when you fall. So if you start thinking of getting people to go outside their base of support, that's the act of pulling someone off their their center. Mm -hmm. That's how they fall. Now, why do wrestlers do this? What what just happened to my base of support? It got squared? It got, it got squared and it got larger, right? Uh -huh. This way, my base of support is larger and I lowered my center of gravity just now. Mm -hmm. The lower, just think of a pencil. Mm -hmm. You know how like if you try and balance a pencil like straight, mm -hmm. the center of gravity is higher and any little tiny movement makes it hard to balance. Yeah. But if you balance it flat, mm -hmm. the center of gravity is low. Yeah. It's easier to balance. So same thing here. That's why sumo wrestlers, by the way, if you're pregnant or you're a sumo wrestler, you big belly, your center of gravity is actually out here. Out here. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why if you lower your center of gravity, mm -hmm. it makes it easier, uh, harder for you to um, to, to fall. Mm -hmm. But that goes on to, to Kazushi. So Kazushi doesn't mean off balancing in Japanese. Why did they call it Kazushi then, not just use a Japanese word for off balancing? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's something more than just off balancing. <laughs> is it now? Hmm. Yeah. So, we have to start talking about structure and posture, right? Okay. Even though my center of gravity is here, but if my posture is broken, mm -hmm. look at where my center, my center of gravity is out here in it right now. Mm -hmm. So all it takes is for you to pull me, like my center of gravity is out here, right here. See? If my center of gravity is out here, all it took is a little pull for me to, to fall. Mm -hmm. 
So don't overly focus on Kazushi or think of it as um, pulling harder or pulling or pulling someone to their toes. Think of it as breaking their structure more. Mm -hmm. um, that'll help you in the long run because I know I was banging my head against the wall when I was a white belt. Like, why aren't my throws working? I'm just pulling harder, pushing harder. Mm -hmm. And um, there's actually, that, that's just not the way to go about it. Um, yeah. Um, so I personally read a great blog article that I'll probably link in the description, but they kind of discuss four, four types of kazushi, right? Mm -hmm. Beginners, white belts, first type of kazushi they, they um, think of is pulling, mm -hmm. using your muscles to pull people off the balance. Yeah. Second type is action reaction. That's when we start teaching people like, use your, when I push, you react, then you use that to pull them, right? Mm -hmm. The third type is use your body. So, see how I use my body weight to just pull them off balance. The center of gravity, just move forward like that. Also, circular movements. I just use my body weight to get him to move, right? Move the shift to his base of support. So, that's the third type. Mm -hmm. And the fourth type, the hardest one, is you use whatever your opponent gives you. Yeah. So, I think. I think a good example would be when we do moving with Chikomis. Mm -hmm. Your partner's moving and you're yeah. just using that momentum. And it's, cool. it's you don't eat, for example, you do Ipo Senagi. Yeah. If you have the right momentum, you don't even need to bend your knees to throw them. Yeah. True. So, structure, think of it as structure. Mm -hmm. Movement, structure, don't think of it as just pulling harder. That's the main point of this video. It's just <laughs> don't brute strength pull and think mm -hmm. you need Makazushi. And someone just tells you, you need more kazushi, that's not helpful, just ignore them. So. <laughs> Ask them what they mean by that. Yeah. That's actually what you should do. Someone says, I need more kazushi, and you don't understand it, you can't figure it out, you're like, what is my sensei talking about? Ask them, what do you mean by that? What do you What do you mean by more kazushi on this thing? And if they and tell you pull harder, that's wrong. If they tell you right pull now. harder, then like, no, you're like, why do I need to pull hard? Where do I need to pull hard at? So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at the Tommy Talk. You can follow us on YouTube at the Tommy Talk. If you have any questions, things you want us to talk about, things you want us to go over, you can send a message at the Tommy Talk at gmail.com. If you want to follow us on Instagram, you can follow me at the Jerry underscore one. You follow Anthony at Anthony Throws. So please have a good workout and take this stuff seriously. Have fun.